Here's what I have going on today. I'm gonna to try and keep this to about an hour or less. Follow up on the last video I posted on the, and I'm really enjoying this little guy right here, the TI-99 Flash ROM 99, or the TI-99 4A Flash ROM 99. It has been a lot of fun to play with. So I've got this, I've got an SD card loaded up with games, and I also have uh, my handy dandy Hyperkin Trooper joystick, or is this, is this the Troop, Troop, Trooper or the Ranger? This is the Trooper, uh, and uh, we'll be playing some games. 2,000 subscribers as of today. We made it today. 2,000 weird people out there trying to see what I'm up to, which is kind of odd to have that many. Also had a really kind gift from someone, I can't reveal the name, although if you go to my Buy Me A Coffee, uh, actually I think it is anonymous, but someone made a really nice uh, donation. They said, uh, you know, you really need to move from the Flash ROM 99 to the Final Grom 99, and you pretty much paid for the thing, so I ordered that last night. So looking forward to that coming in, in the next couple of days. So unfortunately, Miss Slav, what that means is probably some more TI-99 content, and I know you're wanting me to get back to the Mega 65, but trust me, still have some Mega 65 stuff that is uh, coming your way. I've actually got a whole series that I'm planning, and I think I mentioned to you in the comment that one of the things I want to do is do that upon the release of the first 400 and use the actual, uh, not the dev kit, which I have, which is usually back there, but I moved it for this video for some reason, could have referenced it, but um, I want to have the, the, the one of the first 400 and start producing videos with that real uh, Mega 65, get people excited about it and let, it, let people know it's not vaporware. So anyway, let's get into what I want to do today, which is basically play games and let me go ahead. I'm going to use the A10. Let's we'll see if it works here. So here is our camera, our document camera that I actually shared in the video as well. All this stuff, you can start to see it kind of build. So I've got the A10 mini, I've got the document camera. I've been documenting all of this as part of the process. And I can do this right here now. So I can give us a little picture in picture. You should be seeing a picture somewhere. This is the spring 1986 catalog for the TI-99-4. And one of the things I was noticing is all of the games when I first purchased my TI-99-4, all the cartridges that were available. And what's amazing to me now is that I can get all of these cartridges on one of these using one of these. And this will hold about 171 cartridges. Uh, the final Grom, which uh, again uh, will be coming soon, can hold uh, more than that. I think it's unlimited. I think it's just based on the number or the, uh, the size of your SD card. So I'll be playing with that a little bit more. But we can get 171. That's obviously more than I can play with today uh, during the live screen stream. Uh, we've seen TI Invaders. I've actually played that uh, on the channel in live stream and in several several videos of, about the TI. Car Wars, Munchman, Parsec, we've played a lot. Uh, and so you can see some of the other ones. But this catalog is just a whole lot of fun to go through to see what titles were available. One of the ones I mentioned in here that I, I was hoping to find was uh, Star Trek Strategic Operations. And thankfully, I found that available uh, as a ROM that I could put on the Flash ROM 99. So I definitely gonna fire that up. And I also found a version of the Star Wars game uh, from the arcades that I think we need to fire up and try. I haven't tried them yet. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and plug in. Now you could do this either way. You could plug it in first and then plug this in. You know, just make sure the power's off. Although it's interesting because I have done some reading and evidently you can plug and unplug with this thing turned on. I am not going to do that. Uh, I just think that's fraught with all kinds of errors. So what I'm gonna do is plug this in right here. You just got that nice satisfying click, hear that? This is that reset button that we talked about in the video. You've got a light, which I don't, I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see the light here and how that works, but I'll show you how that works. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna slide that in like that. And it's it's actually, as I mentioned, it's working a lot better after you use it a couple of times. It's not nearly as harsh on the click and unclick as you take it in and out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I have that. Now, the next thing we do is we simply turn it on. Now I'm gonna switch over here to screen three Put me over here. I think that's better. And so now what you have is press any key to begin. Now I have already cycled through this. Uh, you, every, the first time you use it, it needs to take time and it needs to catalog everything on the flash. So what you do is you click this right here. While you're on this screen, you click the button here. The little light comes on and it catalogs everything that's on there and creates a menu in alphabetical order, which is really kind of cool. So then we'll go back over here. If I hit my space key, 
you see we have two options one i could go right into ti basic or two i can go to the flash run this is the part i like when i come back over here and i press two you see i get a menu we get the flash rom menu it's actually a pretty cool menu it's got the the ti colors and then you'll see in the upper right you can see that there are let me turn my picture in picture right this way right there you can see a one to four that means i have four screens full of games and i can use my comma right here and my period to move through those menus like this so there you go i can move through now to select the game we just simply select the alpha character over to the left now if you only had nine titles on here then you would just see nine things and then it would ask you to push one through nine which is kind of cool and what i did what i thought we would do is go in and try a couple of these games so let's go ahead and pick something uh that we want to play and we're going to start with uh, alpiner first we're not going to go through all of these we can't go through all these games but we're going to pick a few and just try them here we go let's go we're going to do c let's see we're going to go two for english now i'm hearing sound uh, but at least I figured out what, what was going on with sound. So it was an OBS setting, which means I could probably use my other microphone. So, uh, Mislav, if, if work isn't too bad right now, uh, let's try something here. I'm going to change microphones and now give me a chance to play with the ATEM a little bit more. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, I have reset the flash ROM. Let's go back into here and hopefully it's not going to lock up on every game. Let's go ahead and find some games to look at. We are going to try some things we've not tried before. We're going to try Burger Time. Burger Time was never one of those that I just loved. I will say that, uh, but it does look like fun. Here is the joystick I am using again. Uh, it's got that old uh, Atari 2600 look. It does have two buttons, but they're basically both the same button. Uh, and the other thing I like about it, it is a uh, nine pin DIN. Press our start button and see if it's going to work here. Now we're getting some sound. So this is Burger Time. Again, Burger Time was not one of those ones that I just really enjoyed for sure. As a matter of fact, I don't even remember how to play this thing. And we're not going to spend a lot of time on each of these unless we find one we really like. Oh, there we go. I think I just did something uh, special there. I'm not sure what it is. And hopefully I can do something special there and something special there. Let's see. I think if I come down here now and walk on this one. Jamie's Hack Shack just arrived for the shame. Burger time rocks. You really think so? Because I'm not sure. Am I doing the right thing, Jamie? Is this is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is just and then I, I assume this last one is. Did I just make a burger? So that's how you play. You know, I, I was mentioning Jamie earlier that I never was a fan of this game, but it does play really well on the TI-99. I will say that it looks pretty good. Um, so, Jamie, I hope your meal was good. Oh, no, see, I don't think I was supposed to do that because that, that looks like that just messed up. Uh, again, I, oh, I think I'm, oh, I just got killed by a wiener. Oh my goodness, a wiener just got me. That's not good. Um, complete the burgers, yep, got it. Okay, so let's see, if I go up here then, if I want to complete the burger, that would be, uh, gotta get to the right level. Don't worry, we won't spend a whole lot of time on this one. I got some other games I want to show you, but I think I get the appeal of this now, Jamie. Maybe I just didn't really understand. Oh, see, I just I just uh, flattened a weenie. And just the fact that you can say flatten a weenie while you're playing this game, that's a lot of fun. Uh-oh, and I just got killed by a pickle. That's not right. Uh, use the salt shaker and when they are close if you need to save yourself. Salt shaker? Where's a salt shaker? The hard part is getting it just right so that I can walk over. That seems to be a... See, I don't think I, yeah, I'm dead. So, oh well. Okay, we'll do one more uh, little level here. How's the sound um, for, from the game, guys? Is Are you hearing the, do I need to turn that up, down? Oh, that was pretty good. Hit your button. I have a button. Like this? Oh, there you go. Now we're talking. Oh, but then I just got killed by a pickle because I was so excited about the salt. I, I missed it, uh, but you know what? I'm glad, Jamie, that you were here. I remembered this was one of your favorites. This was one of the one reasons I wanted to, to play this one. Uh, it's louder than your voice. Okay, well, I can turn that down. So that's the good thing about the ATEM is I can turn the music down a little bit here. 
How about that? That should be a little bit better. That should get maybe the levels a little bit better. Uh, oh, wait, we're going again, aren't we? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, one more and then we're gonna get out of here. Keep an eye on my time too. I, I promised myself I would only do an hour today and I've got a lot of games I wanna get to. What is that? Is that a cup of coffee? The salt shaker. Okay, I just use a salt shaker. Huh. Isn't this exciting watching somebody else play a video game? I don't know why this is so popular, uh, but people just love watching other people lose at video games. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, here we go. I'm slowly working on my... Uh-oh. Now, see, can I... Oops, salt shaker. Up, 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 up. Lee, go, 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 go. Got, no, no, no. See, I got stuck on the ladder. Okay, enough of your favorite game, Burger Time. Jamie, at some point, we need to watch you play this. Hey, are you gonna be, uh, when you live stream for your um, your event for the Children's Hospital, are you gonna be playing, you're gonna be playing some games. You should pick out some old retro games. And hey, if you wanna put some information about that in the chat room uh, or in the chat, I'll be happy to share that. And uh, uh, I'm sure a lot of us will be watching you uh, through your, your uh, live stream, which I'm looking forward to. Is that next weekend or? It's coming up pretty soon, if I remember. Okay, so here's what we do here. We hit uh, function quit. And then what that does is it takes us back to the main screen. Now, let me show you how this works. If I press any key now, it remembers the last ROM I used. So you have to go back to this screen. And then what you have to do is come over here and hit the reset. After you hit the reset, the light will come on here, which you can't see, and then it'll turn off. Then I can come back in here and hit enter. And then we'll get our flash ROM menu again. What haven't we tried? We haven't tried Camelot or Car Wars. Uh, November 6th, okay, so it's in November. Oh, so it's after Halloween. For some reason, I was thinking it was before. Okay, the next one we'll play, because I, I like these, uh, these kinds of games, I want to play Demon Attack. And I want to play that because in this one right here, I noticed that it was available. And Demon Attack used to be one of the ones that I really enjoyed playing on, and I think I can zoom here if I'm not mistaken. Super Demon and Attack was one that I used to really love on the Atari 2600. So I think that's the one we're gonna take a look at next. So let me come back here, go back to here, and let's do Demon Attack, which is Q. So we'll hit Q. You see our little, little turny things. Oh, this does not look like the Demon Attack I remember, but it is 1983. Three, press any key to begin. Let's try it out here. Oh, this is different. Uh, not only is it different, my, I messed up my joystick. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Well, this just is wrong. Okay, I'm gonna need to figure this out. This is not like the demon attack for the Atari 2600. This is something different. Um, it plays well though. I will give it that. Um, so it's kind of the Kung Fu Flash in its way. Yes, it is, Jamie. It is very much the Kung Fu Flash of its time. There you go. <laughs> this is what you're trying to read the chat and play games at the same time. It doesn't work really well. Let's go back in for another round and see what, well, let me catch up on chat for sure. Uh, retro to November 6th. Uh, yeah, the, um, I think it's exactly like the Kung Fu Flash. Uh, because even the Kung Flu Flash remembers the last thing that you loaded. The only thing with the Kung Flu Flash, Miss Loff, if you're not familiar with the Kung Flu Flash, Kung Flu, Kung Fu Flash, I'll get it right in a minute. By the way, the thing about the Kung Fu Flash that's bothering me right now is I have the, new, the Commodore 128 that I added to the collection, uh, what, about four or five months ago. And the Kung Fu Flash is supposed to work with the 128, but I can't get it to work with 128 in that mode. And everything says it should work. So I don't know if there's an update coming or whatever, but I need to work on that. Because uh, to your point, Jamie, earlier, wouldn't it be cool if we could get CPM running from the Kung Fu Flash on the 128? So a lot of stuff to play with, not enough hours in the day for sure. This says press redo or back. Now let me show you this, this is really weird. Redo is up here and it's a function. So this is that weird keyboard thing you have where you can't hit eight, you gotta hit function and eight. So let's see if that's gonna work for us. Function and eight, and it did, so now we're back in. And so let's go ahead and kill some more of these. It seems like if you just stay put, well, I said that, and 
I'm gonna focus, guys, so hang on. I'm focused to see if I can get through at least one level. My goal is to get, hey, got through one level. There we go, oh, and then lost it, celebrating. This is not bad. This is, uh, I kind of like the, the, the graphics are just unusual enough to be interesting. They do look like demons. Oh, rats. Hey, level three. There we go. And I'm sitting here, and yeah, there we go. So every level appears that we get new and different demons, which is kind of fun. I kind of like the background, too. That's kind of cool with the, the moon and then the earth in the uh, background. Level four. This is, ugh. So again, this is demon attack on the TI-994A. There's no way I'm getting through this level. Yeah, well, maybe I will. Hmm. Oh, there I go, looking at the camera again, trying to see what you guys are up to, and lost it. You know what, I would recommend this. This is pretty good, and this joystick is perfect for it. Again, I'm using the Hyperkin Trooper, which is great. It is a nine, DB9 connector, it's uh, it's really good. It feels just like an original Atari joystick, which I really like. So again, if you, you need one of those, uh, I've got links to this thing everywhere and all kinds of stuff, and I'll make sure and put one in the video description and the companion blog post for this, which I always do afterwards to thank everybody who, who joined in and uh, thank everybody who supported. So uh, that's coming. Uh, that'll probably come in the next 24 to 48 hours. So be on the lookout for that. Let's go ahead and let's reset. Told you all how to do it and didn't do it myself. So we'll go back into here. Uh, you missed it, Jamie. We already tried Alpiner a little bit earlier, which again, thank you so much for the real cartridge for that. That is has been a lot of fun. I did make it to like mountain number three. <laughs> so, and what I'm hoping is over the Christmas break, I'm gonna spend just more time in each of these games and really have fun with it. So looking forward to that. So that's kind of the first page. There is Congo, Bongo, some other things, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next page because there's some stuff over here. There was Frogger, which we could play Frogger. I think we've all seen that. We played Hangman together, if you remember that from the last one. Uh, but I do, and we've played Hunt the Wumpus. We did that for a minute. Uh, I would like to do Mars Attacks though. And uh, again, so far I've been really pleased with how fast these load. Can you imagine loading these from uh, cassette? Although the nice thing about the CI was almost everything came on cartridge, which was nice. All right, so I have pressed the button, I've pressed this, I've pressed enter, and nothing is working. Let's try. So this has been interesting because I found that a few of these have locked up the computer. So it looks like I'm not gonna get to play Mars Attacks. Ah, so that's not good. So let's go ahead and reset here. Oh, and this is one that reset it, or locked it up too. So I'm gonna have to turn it off, guys. Let's try something else. And let's go here, let's go here, and let's go to page two again. And uh, since that one didn't work, let's try Meteor Belt M. See if that's gonna work for us. Okay, hit, hit, any, t there we go. Ooh, I have no earthly idea what this is. Now some of these games may not use the joystick. So, oh, this is a two player game it looks like, so. Here we go, let's do this, we'll enter oh, one player, we want one player mode. Uh, what's your name? We'll just do RC for retro combs, we'll hit enter. And let's see if we can play this game. So RC at the bottom, Jupiter on the top. Here we go, and oh, there we go. Um, now, it doesn't look like, oh, there it is. So you've got to, got to try and, oh, missed him. Oh, this is kind of fun. This is, it's kind of like shooting through Frogger, but you also have to, Make sure you don't hit. Interesting. Oh, and it looks like as these things go away, oh, could have sworn I had him that time. There we go, got him. And so it probably as you get rid of the blue things, you can see the, the, the blue barriers, and in his case, a yellow barrier, or her case, or their case, whatever they are. Um, let's see if I can get him again. There we go. Uh, you can get hit by these other, this is kind of cool. I've not seen any game quite like this. I can see where a, a two player version of this would be a lot of fun. Um, and again, the TI is just unique, uniquely designed for two player games because the joystick that originally came for it was a, was a single plug 
and then it had two joysticks coming out of that single plug. So I've got an adapter on here that lets me plug in a single joystick, uh, and it doesn't have to be a TI joystick, obviously, right? And by the way, guys, uh, I tend to hold my mouth open. I don't know what that is while I'm playing the game. So if you see me like this, that's that's natural. There's nothing wrong with me. There we go. Got it. Oh, and then I got killed there. Uh, okay, so we've done this page. Uh, we've got uh, time for probably a couple more. Uh, we did, I remember Miner 2049er. We should check out, take a look at that. That could be fun. And then on the next page, uh, there are a couple of things I want to show you. So here's Miner 2049er. And, ooh, man, that's a hard screen right there to look at. Woof. And there we go. So I don't, you know, I remember this, but I don't remember how to play it. So I'm going to assume... Uh, since this is filling, oh, that's interesting. There we go. Do we jump? Is there a jump? Yeah, there is a jump. So let's go up here and grab this. Yeah, see, I thought that, I thought there was something to do with, oops, there we go. Go up here. All right, see you, Miss Love. It's good to have you. And as always, thanks again for the support. Really appreciate it. Be sure and check out the, uh, the uh, video uh, and you can catch up afterwards if you want to see some of the other games because there is uh, two games coming up I uh, will want you to see Star Wars and uh, Star Trek strategic operations looks pretty cool so I've got about two seconds left on this and then I'm out of here uh, this is never yeah this is not my speed so let's get out of here and this one isn't even let it's interesting these these all act a little bit differently this one isn't even letting me switch cartridges now so some of these just take over so i'm going to reboot here uh, let's go back in here to flash rom now there are a couple on here jamie that i was really interested in looking at look interestingly there's the net browser on here i thought that was fun but here that here's the page so this page is loaded with good stuff we've already played parsec there's popeye qbert scramble i don't know why all the good games are around that s uh, but if you take a look down there's star trek strategic operations star wars uh, TI Invaders we've played in Tombstone City, which is pretty popular. So I'm going to hit just a couple of these before uh, trying to squeeze in these in 15 minutes. So let's go ahead. And the first one I do is I do want to look at Qbert because Qbert is, um, everybody knows what Qbert looks like. And we'll see how it compares to arcade version. Wow, this is actually a nice version. Oh, of course, me, I just, oh, interesting. The uh, controls for this, just like in the regular one, are really tough. Ah! Oh, and he curses. That's good. Just like he, he did in the real version. So trying to get used to this joystick on this is something for sure. But wow. This is actually a pretty good version of this game. Not bad. Okay. So I like that one. Uh, I am going to now go ahead and reboot. And we saw that one, because again, I'm trying to get through several of these. Uh, so let me go back and reboot, reset, press any key, go back to my flash ROM, go to page two, I'm getting used to this. And let's try Star Trek Strategic Operations. So I thought uh, this one would probably be one that would really show off the graphics well. Uh, press any key to begin. I remember playing this game uh, oh, here we go. And then this would be like one of those very first first-person shooters. Now, interestingly, my joystick is not working. I wonder if I have to be in port two. So I'm going to try and move this to port two. It does have to be in port two. So that's interesting. There we go. Entering sector. Oh, this, this could be a lot of fun. I, I think I would enjoy this. Uh, definitely going to have to put some time on this. And I know that there is uh, some docking that you have to do. Um, so there was a version on the VIC. I, maybe that's where I remember playing it first was on the VIC uh, 20. Entering sector 1.4. This is, uh, I want to get the instructions too because I know there's some nuances to this that I am not getting right now um, that I think would be a lot of fun. Well, this is this is fun. 
Um, now, again, I know, I'm pretty sure at some point I'm supposed to dock. Let's see if I can dock. Well, definitely not going to dock while I'm under attack. And there's Sector 1.5. So there's Star War or Star Trek operations, strategic operations, which is pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and reset. And I want to check out the Star Wars. We've seen Star Trek. Now let's go into Star Wars and see what we have. So go back to our flash ROM, come down here. Let's go to third page and let's go to Star Wars. I do like how quickly uh, the Flash ROM 99 lets you move through these games. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. And this looks pretty good. Uh, I spent a lot of quarters on this game uh, in the, the version where you sit down. And uh, I think this is almost identical to um, uh, Perry Fractic over on Retro Recipes, that big one that he made. This is supposed to be that version of the game that he has. Now, interestingly, the stars don't move. You are just moving your reticle or your your aimer, technical term, right? Your aimer, and then you're firing on, I'm assuming, I don't know what that is. I'm assuming, okay, that's a, that's a TIE fighter. And I guess these are actually them firing at you. So you can shoot at the TIE fighter, or you can shoot at their blast that's coming towards you. And did I just die? I'm on level one, I sure would like, now interestingly, this appears to have locked up. So there are some issues with lockup. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, let me see if I can reset. It is gonna let me reset. Let's go ahead and go back into that one since it remembers it is the last one. That's good. Uh, oh yeah, the vector graphics. I know the vector graphics uh, are just, you know, they're being simulated on this, right? Um, but that was really good. I remember first seeing that game in the arcade thing, just blew my socks off seeing this for the very first time. I really need to pay attention, don't I? I'm not very good at this. And I think I just need to practice, right? Have I hit a TIE Fighter yet? Because I just don't think I have. But this, this isn't bad. If the if the star field would just move up and down, I think that's, that's a little disconcerting too, is because I don't really see, or maybe it's just what I'm used to, right? I got that one. Let's get this guy. Oh, I thought I had him that time. I really would like to get to level two. Let's see if we can get to level two. Not playing like this, you are, you're not gonna do it. got to kill the ships and not their blast. So it's good to protect yourself with the, killing the blast, but you've got to be able to kill the TIE Fighter to move on to the next level. There we go, there's one. You can just hold the button down too. Maybe that's what I need to do. Although it lags a little bit when you just hold the button, so maybe that's not the best idea. There we go. Come on, level two. Gotta get to level two. It's getting crazy now. And uh, redo her back, I'm out. I, got, I did get to level two. So I don't know if we ever get to the level where we're in the trenches. I'm gonna have to play this game some more to see if we get that. Okay, let me go back here. And we've got time for maybe two more. So let's see what we have here. I, there was this one uh, called Superfly. I have no earthly idea what that is, but I wanna bring that up just because it reminds me of the 1970s film Superfly. Surely that's not what it is. The, Detective game. Oh, it's by Milton Bradley. This is interesting. Superfly by Milton Bradley. So let's... Oh, it's actually a fly. Interesting. So press any TI key to begin. Uh, enter your name. These really like your name. So I think that's interesting that it wants your name. Now, no idea what I'm doing. And uh, looks like the joystick isn't working which means I've probably got to go back to the other port. So let me go back over here, plug this out and show you what I'm using. So this is the adapter I'm using. So this is port one, this is port two. Um, it's better if I unplug it. It's not really that solid. And then you come back over here and you plug it back in. Nothing's working. Is this, maybe this is only a, 
I don't even see my character anymore. What? Is there supposed to be a super fly? Okay, well, gee, as much fun as that is, uh, let me reset my flash ROM, press any key, go back here, go back a couple pages, and we'll do Tombstone here, which is evidently a really popular game on the TI. I hear a lot about it. It is from 1991. Obviously, the way I'm playing today, we should go novice. And uh, Tombstone, Day, Population, and Schooners. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. No clue. No clue what I'm doing. Um, Tombstone City. Why Why does it look like I... Uh, why is there a spaceship in Tombstone City? So every time I shoot something, it creates a... Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This is another one of those I'm going to have to... I think I just shot everything. Uh-oh, just died. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get out of this one and we'll go back and do, we will do one more. And we're gonna go to the last page and pick one from the last page. So these are the ones we have, Treasure Island. Now you'll notice also that we have uh, some programming languages on here, which are pretty cool. We have Turbo Fourth and 80, Video Chess, Video Games 1, Video Games, uh, Video Vegas, Wing War. So one more, do we wanna do Wing War, uh, Zero Trap, not Yahtzee. I've, I've, Yahtzee's not something I'm interested in playing, uh, uh, or Video Vegas. So it's Wing War. Yeah, let's, let's do Wing War, that sounds good. So for our last game for the Flash ROM, is oh wow look at this it looks like we chose something very interesting here this is a title known as wing war so let's hit oh look at this so i've got a dragon and i press the button ah it's joust controls jamie weren't we just talking about joust you have to Keep hitting your button to keep it aloft, and then you can fly. Wow, wow. Look at this, this is pretty impressive. These are impressive graphics for this system. I have to admit, um, it is going to wear my button out though, for sure. I just, I do, I just have to keep doing this. So this is Wing War. And now it seems like I'm stuck. Okay, so maybe there is some some glitches here, but that that's pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to have to play with that one. That's pretty nice. So let me go back here. And again, uh, let me just show you in case you missed it. So how I reset it, uh, I showed, shared it a little bit earlier. But what you do is you function this that goes to the screen then you press this and then when I go back to here you'll see that I can do this and then I can get my flash wrong so that's how it works um, so that's uh, you know about an hour in let's uh, I don't know is it was there one that caught anybody's attention let's go ahead and sign off with what is micro microsurgeon where's that Okay, microsurgeon it is. We're gonna sign off with microsurgeon. So before I do though, let me just say uh, thank you all for those that joined. Uh, be sure and check out the previous video I have on the Flash ROM 99. As I mentioned earlier, uh, there was a kind viewer who sent me enough money to buy, buy via buy me a coffee, a final Grom, which I ordered last night, should be here in a couple of days so that will be we'll be taking a look at that uh the viewer asked if i would compare the flash rom to the final grom and talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each which i look forward to the final grom is that next version or next iteration next generation of this so really have to thank him i don't have permission to say who he is i have asked for that so i can put him on the supporter page so if you have something that you want me to try and check out and produce a video on or something you think i need to look out uh, look at uh, you know go ahead and do what he did you can buy me a coffee to let me purchase that you can send it to me if you want to do that send me an email uh, at retrocombs at icloud.com we can figure that out um, but really excited about uh, the support that I'm starting to see on the channel and people coming in and checking it out. And these live streams are just supplements to that, just having some fun. 
kind of like users group just kind of getting together and chatting and playing games together which is a lot of fun so um, be sure and check again out the uh, companion blog post there will be one for this uh, I'm not sure what the name is going to be but it'll it'll be easy to find so we will go back to our menu here and we will close out with microsurgeon so I'm just going to play us on out so thanks for joining me and here we go let's go ahead and do a little microsurgery all right oh oh my what have you gotten me into I have no earthly idea what to press any key to begin okay I've pressed any key press aid for help any key to play press aid Where's aid for help? I don't see a button. Oh, there it is. It does say aid. I'll be darned. Look at that. It's function and seven. And there's eight. So we have one for ultrasonics, two for antibiotics. You know, I vaguely remember something like this, I think. Uh, three for aspirin, six for slow robot, seven for fast speed, enter for more. Let's see. Let's enter for more and see what we have. I just hit enter for more and got, oh, there we go. Uh, moving the robot, use your joystick in one, which I have. Uh, medicating, joystick two or joystick one and fire button. So that, they're, what they're trying to do is make use of both joysticks on one of those single plugs. That's kind of interesting. So you would have two controls, joysticks to control. Um, so hit enter for more. Tar in the lungs, gallstone, kidney stone, cholesterol, tapeworm. Oh, wow. Uh, tumor, infection, cold virus, and enter to play. It seems that we saved the best for last for sure. Let's see what we got going on here. Enter the patient number, zero to 99. Uh, zero, patient zero, right? Um, <laughs> what's my expertise? Am I a student, intern, or a surgeon? Oh, I'm definitely a student, so we'll do zero. I'm targeting something here. Now, I don't here, this is bad. I don't remember what any of those controls were. Was it? Holy cow. Let me hit eight again. Hold on. Yeah, I know, right? Starting in the, it's, it's, it's intro. Oh, there's something right there. Do, do I need to? So I'm hitting the button, but I can't really, oh, I just killed that. Whatever that, oh, I, did I just kill a brain cell? Oh, got him. All right. I, I, I assume that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm not very good at this. Oh, so this is. Yeah, I'm horrible at this is what I'm learning. I am some of these games without instructions. Whew. Can I go down and fire a little bit lower? Do it. Okay. Oh, so it does move. There we go. So those were tumors, if I remember. Weren't those two? Oh, two. No, tumors don't move. Uh, yeah, that one that needs an overlay for cheat sleep. I know this is this is. Who knows if I'm doing any, any good? I, I This poor guy, he's not good, not good. Um, he needs a real doctor at this point, that's for sure. Okay, well, that was fun. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a look at that. All right, well, that concludes it for for me. Uh, Jamie, thanks for joining, and I appreciate uh, Mislav joining again on a Sunday, and I appreciate his support. He supported the channel, which was nice. And uh, for those of you that were lurking, I appreciate that too. And for those of you that are watching later, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Uh, Jamie, I'll see you around. Uh, it's time for a run. So see you.